What's up everybody, it's Eric at MA Performance and today I'm going to give you a rundown on what porting and polishing is for your cylinder head. So the general purpose of porting cylinder heads is to improve the air going into the engine and the air going out of it. The oversize that happens from porting correlates to the parts that go into the head. So if you have stock cams on a ported head, those two things don't really make sense. Now if you have very big cams and a ported head, the air delivery will be more responsive with a larger cam based off of the longer the valve is open, the more air is allowed to go in. The more air that combusts, the more the air that's evacuated. For the most part, a ported head has its purpose and a stock head also has its purpose. So for most street cars, a ported head really isn't necessary. Um, you won't see the benefits that you would like at the track where you're taking the engine to its max RPM and potential air speed limits. So comparing these two heads, this one has about, I'd say, four hours of CNC porting done. Now a hand finished head in comparison to this would take probably upwards of 15 to 20 hours to replicate this. Going over to this, this is a untouched bare Evo 10 head that has no machine work done except from what was done at Mitsubishi. This one is a 35 millimeter, 29 millimeter valve size and OEM port configuration. Going to this one, this one has a fully CNC ported intake exhaust and combustion chamber. This head would benefit from a larger valve, larger cams, and it would operate at a higher RPM than what this one is capable of. Now, this head flows great from the factory, hence why a streetcar doesn't really need a CNC ported head. This one is one that I would put on a race car. That would be a uh, drag strip or autocross or time attack car. So there are ways that you can make an uh, unported head ported without doing the whole thing. And that's called a pocket port or a bowl blend. So a bowl blend, and here's a cutaway of a cylinder head, pretty much is where you would take from the guide to the seat and you would open up this area and doing that makes the air delivery act smoother going in and going out and it kind of acts like a ported head without sacrificing too big of a port losing velocity. A pocket port is the best option for a street car if you want porting done and it'll work best for most applications. So I'm gonna give a basic rundown of our MAP staged heads. So the first one that we offer is the MAP Stage 1 cylinder head service, which is an unported, completely remachined cylinder head. Going from there, we have what's called the pocket porting, which we do the bowl transition, but that's it. The Stage 3 head goes to a full CNC ported head, which works better for larger valves, larger cams, and then you have the stage five, which we consider the all out race head. And that is a CNC ported head that I go through and completely hand finish and make it to my tolerances on what I want it to be. So it's slightly larger port chamber exhaust than the stage three head, but there's some drawbacks with the stage three and stage five. They don't work well with small duration cams and small valve size. So you wanna make sure that if you go with a CNC ported head, that the parts that go with it will work correctly. So when porting a cylinder head, there's things to be considered. Generally, the roof and the floor are things that you might wanna avoid given your intake manifold shape and the overall port design. So our CNC ported head compared to our stock head, the floor and the roof are very, very similar size, just slightly opened up okay. and then if we go we'll get our side port okay. and then going into here you can see there's a decent amount of material that's been removed and it goes 
all the way down and it gets larger as it goes. Now a stage five head will be larger than a stage three head, just from the sheer fact that we're going in with a tool kind of like this, and we're gonna shape how we want it to look, and doing that oversizes further. So the stage five head is the race head, and it's significantly larger than the CNC ported head. And one thing about it is CNC porting doesn't always touch everywhere. The stage five head is larger in a few different areas. So the CNC porting doesn't always touch all the way around. You know, there's casting flash and casting shift. No head is the same. So putting that human touch, which happens in the stage five head, kind of like perfects the port further although CNC porting heads still will outperform an unported head. So you can see this exhaust is widened quite a bit. So if we take this out until my tool touches, and then we go to here, you can see there's a decent amount of material that's been removed from the overall sides of the port. Now, if we go in and check the roof, you can see just slightly oversized on the floor and the roof of the port. So the difference between the stage one and three compared to the five is the five, the exhaust port gets hand finished and opened up so that you can see exactly where the port stops compared to the gasket. And then when you put this onto our CNC ported head, the stage five would go through and meet where this gasket ends. So quite a bit more of an increase that happens from the three to the five. So. At MA Performance, we offer three different stages of head builds, the unported, the CNC ported, and the hand-finished race head for the 4G63, the 4B11T, and the EJ25. The EcoBoost heads, we offer an unported or a pocket-ported bowl-blended head. And if you guys don't know what porting service or if you need porting, you should reach out to our dedicated sales team at MA Performance and they'll help you pick which stage is right for you. Speaking on cylinder heads, we have a new project in the works and that is the Civic X L15 cylinder head. You guys may have seen our race car. This is the next cylinder head prototype that's gonna be going on that. So this prototype head, when it's all said and done, is proven for about 80 wheel torque increase just with the porting alone. So if you guys have any more questions, give us a call. And if you want to see any other videos like that, give us a comment down below.